Many have heard of Catalina, some have been to Avalon, few have ventured beyond. We call this Hogsback Gate and we are crossing over from Avalon into the interior. This of the is like island. entering Jurassic Park. Yeah. Our journey outside the city begins with a trek to the center of the island. Getting around the interior is no easy feat, but to biologist Hillary Holt, this unspoiled terrain is her backyard. There is a difference between the governing bodies, the city of Avalon, where we just were, and now the interior, correct? Right, and really the bulk of the land ownership on the island is private, and the Catalina Island Conservancy owns and manages 88% of the island, which is what the interior is, a land trust. Now, what is this other harbor with the- with Well, this the is actually the home of the OSS, which was the precursor to the CIA. So is that why that helicopter's been over us this entire time? <laughs> and after a 30 minute drive through the landscape's rolling hills, we've arrived to one of the island's main tent poles which supports the community's infrastructure, aptly called the airport in the sky. Take a look around you. You've got amazing, almost 360 degree views of the beautiful Southern California skyline and coastline. And on a clear day, you'll be able to see everything from Point Doom south to San Diego. I can see the San Gabriel Mountains just peeking through there. Yep, that's Mount Baldy. Mount Baldy. It is trickier than most airports to land at. You have the illusions of being up high on a mesa with no visual references on the approach, and then you also have a sloped runway. You think they'll let me hang on to that rope? When they were looking around this whole island, as you can see, there's nothing flat on Catalina. So they literally leveled mountains and filled valleys to make this runway. So you guys still offer two-day prime here? Definitely. The Catalina Flying Boats Company no longer do passenger service. They're an all-cargo operation, which helps bring much-needed supplies to the island. All those next-day delivery, all those packages can get here because we have this airport and this great service. I'm amazed at the amount of activity that's at this airport right now. Yeah, so for a little airport on an island, there's a lot happening here today. Beats the hell out of Southern California traffic. It is a very famous pilot lunch spot because we're in a beautiful preserve of undeveloped wildlands. I don't know what's better, the food or the view? The view from the airport is spectacular, but sometimes you must take to the sky to grasp the full picture of this majestic island and some of its most famous inhabitants. So there's buffalo just roaming around here. There are about a hundred American bison or buffalo roaming around Catalina. Oh, did I say buffalo? You did, but we know what you're talking about. So what's the difference between a bison and a buffalo? Buffalo are from Asia, whereas bison can only be found in North America. The American bison that live here on Catalina have been here since the mid 20s. The herd got up to around 600 in the 70s, and now we have around about 100. Actually, we're, we're getting a look. Here oh, they are right here. Right there. Yeah. Check that out. Now, the bison are not native to Catalina. They are not, no. I keep hearing all this talk about these bison being brought here for a movie. Supposedly, it's The Vanishing American that was a book written by Zane Gray they were making into a movie, but that footage never made it into the movie. This trip to Catalina, I mean, there's a surprise around every corner. It's very rare that you get to be this close to a herd of wild bison anywhere let alone a few nautical miles off of the uh, coast of California. The Conservancy's real mission is to keep the ecosystem out here healthy at the same time that we keep our arms open to visitors. Striking that balance mm -hmm. is very important mm -hmm. to us. I mean, when you look around, if I didn't know better, I'd think I was in like the plains of Wyoming. It is something you don't see a lot and why people that love Catalina come back. Do you spend the majority of your time, I mean, just roaming the island? Our research and our biologists and conservation team, that is set out in Middle Ranch. Is that somewhere that is accessible to, to visitors? Not at all. It is a pretty special glimpse to get to see into the heart of the operations. It's kind of off the beaten path and that's where we're going to head now. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. For more, subscribe to First Look and come with me on all my adventures around the world. Who am I kidding? I'm probably sitting at home watching Netflix or playing Xbox. Either way, what are you waiting for? Just hit subscribe already.